Hey everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope your week is off to a good start. Mine is too. This is just going to be a little quick one today. Um, I'm sure you've seen a video before, you've been in a conversation before on Facebook or wherever, and somebody's just always talking about, like, why are all of us, why are all the raw vegans so skinny? Why are all the high carb vegans skinny? Um, they're just, you're too skinny. I don't like, you know, I just don't like that lifestyle because it just makes you too skinny. Well, are high carb vegans too skinny? Raw car, raw vegans too skinny? Or is the world just a little too large? Um, I wanted to see what the numbers were on this. I kind of knew about what it was, but I looked it up. And in 2010, the CDC, the Center for D Disease Control, um, found out that 35.7% of Americans are obese. That's obese. Now that is um, a good bit overweight. I forget exactly what the number criterion is to qualify somebody as obese, but you have to be pretty heavy to be considered obese. Now that's not even taking into account the people that are overweight but are not in the category of being obese. So we've just, what I'm getting at is we've gotten used to seeing a society of the overweight people. Gosh, I go back to where I'm from in uh, South Alabama and the number's got to be bigger than that because everybody's overweight. Everybody's big. Um, you know, uh, everybody's got a gut. Everybody's overweight. So that's just become the norm. And that's what we've also, that's what it's been told to you that you're, you just settle into that. You know, in your 30s, you start spreading. In your 40s, by your 50s, you're not even, you know, most people can't get down on the ground and, and play with their kid, play with a kid and get back up. That, but that's just how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to get a little fatter, a little slower, a little less healthy. And that's just the progression that we've been taught. So when we're um, looking at it from that standpoint, we're just where we want it, where we're supposed to be. You know, well, the body just doesn't hold up that long. Uh, it falls apart earlier. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Most of the people that actually people are saying are too skinny are not too skinny whatsoever. There's even people, <laughs> I've seen some raw vegans out there, and I go, bless their heart, I feel bad for them. They've actually said they've been called too skinny, and I'm like, wow, the world is really seeing things skewed. Because I'm like, you know, this particular person I was thinking of, they didn't even particularly look all that lean, much less too skinny. But, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just all uh, relative speaking, you know. We've just, um, and it's sad. It's sad that we've just, like, become such an overweight society. Um, and with that overweight has come the disease. It's all affluency. Obesity is a disease of affluency. Obesity may not be necessary. I don't know if it's technically considered a disease itself, obesity, but it's one of the, you know, these are um, diseases of affluence. Cancer, heart disease, diabetes. These are all diseases of affluence, which come from the obesity. But obesity. Another th uh, disease of affluence. You don't see these in Societies where people are struggling to survive, you generally don't see a lot of obese people. Um, but, anyhow, where am I going with this? Don't worry about it. People say you're too skinny, who cares? I mean, you know, I could probably, I'm not as big as I used to be. I mean, I don't think I'm like scrawny. I'm not scrawny like I was when I first, you know, lost all the weight on here and didn't know what I was doing, wasn't eating enough. But, what do I need? What do I need? I'm never going to, you know, I'm not, I don't need to lift a car. I don't need to do this or that. I'm, I've got enough functional strength. Um, yeah, you can probably see a rib or two, but you could also see, I could also tighten up a little in the belly. So there's a little fat there. Um, it's just a matter of perspective. Um, and we're really, a lot of the people that it's just being lean. When I, half the time, not even half the time, I'd say 80% of the time, when I hear somebody categorized as too skinny, they're just, they're basically lean. I'm looking at them. I can tell, I, I know, you know, I guess having been in gyms uh, and been, I've just, I, I have an eye for bodies. I can look at that body and see like, okay, I see what, I can kind of see what's really going on. I see what the average person maybe doesn't see, that hasn't spent some time in a gym, or doesn't know physiology, doesn't know anatomy, doesn't know bodies. I can, there's a difference in somebody, like even, okay, just to bring her up, even though she's a lightning rod sometimes, like freely, people talk about how, she's not that skinny. I mean, I, no, I mean, she is very lean. 
She's got a great body, but when people try to knock her for being too skinny, I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Look at her. She's got muscle tone. She's not, yeah, she doesn't have guns. She's not going to have, like, she's not a fitness competitor, but, and I'm just using her because she's kind of, like I say, the person people uh, go to, oh, she's, and she's not even raw vegan. She's raw all four, but that's what, I'm just using that as an example. Like, there's no way you look at her and she's, like, too skinny because if you look at her, and I'm not being crude here, if you look at her butt, if you look at her legs, if you look at her physique, she's filled out. She doesn't have fat on her, but she's nice and lean, and she's healthy, and she's got muscle. Now, yeah, there are people out there that are just scrawny. That's what we used to call them in the South, scrawny. And they're just like, they got those little arms about that big around. There's not a muscle on there. They probably couldn't even pick up the, they probably couldn't pick up this smoothie. You know, that'd be a good curl to them. And there's a difference. There's a difference in the, the lean and scrawny. Um, you, there's plenty of uh, high-carb vegans, there's plenty of raw vegans out there that are good examples of they've got plenty of, uh, they've got plenty of quality muscle on them, they're functional, they're not going to die, they're not in any health danger. Uh, in fact, I mean, you know, I'm not even thinking anybody out there right now. I've, uh, I'm trying to think of all the people that I watch on there and any that could even remotely fall to the category of being too skinny. Too skinny to a fat world? Maybe. So when, you know, it, I guess the takeaway from this is if you're seeing all these people and you think they're all too skinny, you might need to change your perception a little bit or, um, you know, because uh, being overweight does lead to um, all these different diseases, in, in, either indirectly or directly. Um, because if we're, you know, if, you're, if we're, if the obese, Obese people, overweight people, are going to be much more at risk for cancer, for stroke, for heart attack, for diabetes, for all these things. Now, are you bulletproof if you're uh, if you're skinny? No, it depends on what you're putting in your body. But if you're lean and you're putting good things in your body, well, I don't know if you're 100% bulletproof. You sure are. Um, I'll take my chances that way too. I mean, all I'm all I'm going to say here, and I'm going to finish this one up is I've always kind of had this feeling about, uh, about being, even before I came to this lifestyle, I could just tell that I was, my body, when my body was very lean and was at, at its lower weights, it was just much more efficient. It was working more efficiently. I don't know, you know, I could throw all kind of examples, you know, just a truck with a too heavy a load, but I feel like when, I, when you're working with just the right load on your body and when you're, when you're not taxing your internal, your bones, your joints, your heart, your lungs, everything with too much weight, you're just healthier. You're more efficient. So, you know, start look at, try to look at people a little bit differently. Look at them and think, you know, are they really too skinny or are they just lean or are they health, uh, and healthy? Anyhow, just my two cents worth um, to start out the week. Hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and wish you guys a wonderful week. Peace.